So, ang unang magtatanong <laughs> ay si Nikki Wang from Manila Standard. Hi, Nikki! Hi! Hi, Hi sir! Hi, good afternoon. First of all, congratulations to GMA for this partnership with NCAA. I would like to direct my first question to to Sir Oliver. Hi, Nikki. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, earlier, you mentioned about challenging times. And also, taking cue from what Attorney Gozan said in his message earlier, he said that the network will provide NCAA a wider exposure. So I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, how important is it for for GMA to produce this kind of TV program uh, amid the challenges brought about by the pandemic? Actually, Nikki, um, it's re- it's really a very challenging task you know, for for the network, mm-hmm. especially for the synergy team who's in charge of um, mounting, producing uh, the primer. But the good thing is, uh, since most of us are storytellers, I, I'm sure you're, fam- you're aware that uh, the groups behind you know, Synergy are also yeah. the producers of regional, producers of entertainment uh, programs, news and public affairs, GMA News Online. So, nagsama-sama ang, ang network for, for this special um, uh, production. You know? um, the first uh, component of season 96 will be the 21 episode primer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, pakilala to, no? uh, pakilala uh, sa mga uh, viewers ng NCAA, NCAA schools, um, athletes, coaches, no? sa of course yung mga uh, alumni ng, ng, ng 10 member schools. So, medyo kung sa level ng challenge, eh, kaya pa, kaya. Because it's, 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 it's a, a primer. But we are now preparing as we go to the opening ceremonies you know, plus the sporting events. So, ibang challenge naman yun, yung na-encounter ngayon ng team. But of course, because nga in place naman ang health and safety protocols you know, ng network, ang palagi pa rin namin nilalagay ay yung safety ng, 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 ng production team, ng mga athletes, saka yung mga involved you know, dito. But so far, yes, kinakaya. It's, it's, it's challenging, especially at a time uh, when we started preparing for this, it was the height of the pandemic because mm-hmm. it started even earlier than January. It's around November, December until we learned that we we won the bid, no, for for the NCAA for five point five and a half years, no, from season ninety six to season one oh one. So wow. nandun yung challenge, but kinaya naman, no, kinaya siya. Thank you. Now for my next question. Uh, on the NCAA side, uh, Sir Ali, why do you think it's important for NCAA Season 96 to have a platform, you know, such as Rise Up Stronger the, the, for the current season? Actually, Nikki, I'll start, ha, but I think si Martin at si Sophia, they mm-hmm. must share it done. But ako, mm-hmm. from the producer's end, no, uh, nakita kasi namin uh, from the first time na we've met with, with the athletes no most of them are regional or provincial athletes mm-hmm. you know, yung 10 member schools na nandito sa manila karamihan ng mga athlete nila ay galing probinsya o nasa probinsya pa no so this is a, a a form of support of the network because kahit may pandemic we still have to support these athletes eh. no ang dami nilang pinagdaanan yung journey nila from being a a very young athlete hanggang nakilala na sila dun sa respective schools nila at mas nakilala na sila ng mga sports fans. Kailangan magpatuloy yun kahit may pandemic. Hindi nag-stop yung training, hindi nag-stop yung aspiration ng mga athletes to really excel no? and to really show and uh, give their best no? dun sa sports na uh, pinili nila. Kaya sa tingin ko, uh, um, this, this season is very unique and special because kahit nga may pandemic nabigyan natin sila ng ng platform to continue no doon sa gusto nilang sa respective sports nila at alam mo Nikki makikita mo siya uh, I've seen na kasi some of the teachers no na ilalabas namin no for for the 21 uh, episodes ng primer makikita mo doon yung pinagdaanan ng mga athlete ng mga athlete no 
makikita mo doon yung struggles nila from the time that they started up to now. At mm-hmm. nagugulat ako, ang NCAA, as shared by Martin, and of course, nila Sophia, and the program managers no, ng, ng Primer, at napanood ko rin, na-witness ko rin, sila na yung mga icon ngayon ng mga professional league. So maraming nanggaling sa NCAA. They were previous uh, uh, key athletes, no? sports athletes. Nung, nung time nung uh, college sila or nung nasa, nag-aaral pa sila, tapos ngayon nasa professional league na. At marami yun. No? Marami. I think uh, Martin can further elaborate that. That's the reason why he's here. He's our hmm. sportsman. And I think si Sophia can also share with her, uh, share her experience naman as a sports fan because they were able to meet na the athletes. And si Martin, ang lawak ng uh, yan, kaalaman yan, no? Pagdating sa collegiate sports. Yes, Martin. sure. Yeah, can you hear it from, uh, can we hear it from Martin? So yeah, sir, uh, picking up from what Sir Oli said, um, you know, the greatness of the league and the potential of the league. Uh, pag usapin ganyan, NCAA po kasi uh, alam po yan ang mga karamihan ng sports fans sa Pilipinas na it's such a great league. You know, napakalaki ng potensyal, na hindi natatap, na hindi talaga, you know, na fully na, na expose Kasi nabanggat ni Sir Oli kanina, napakarami po na great players na naglaro sa NCAA, nagsimula sa NCAA. Ngayon, They are national athletes, national players, making the country proud. They are stars in their own respective pro leagues. So I think for me, it's important for the NCAA to get this kind of platform para maipakita pa lalo, kung hindi pa naipapakita dati, maipakita pa lalo. Uh, the AVP mentioned earlier, widespread exposure na talagang dinedeserve ng liga nito para mas malaman pa po ng maraming tao na uy, meron palang gantong mga kwento na, uy, ito pala yung pinanggalingan ng mga atletang to. Na makakatulong po yan. I, I think this program, sir, um, it, it, case, it caters to like a bigger picture for different aspects. Eh. Una-muna sa mga players natin, um, mas malalaman ng mga tao, mas magiging familiar yung mga tao dun sa mga istorya nila. Uh, pangalawa, yung mga nagtetraining ngayon na nabanggit kanina ni Sir Oli, mabibigyan ng goal, ng direction yung pinagtitrainingan nila because nakausap namin sila many times already um, uh, dito po sa, sa proseso ng paggawa ng show na to. Nakausap natin sila maraming beses na hindi talaga sila tumitigil mag-training. They are staying ready. But initially, nung hindi pa po ina-announce ang GMA at NCAA partnership, um, they don't know kung merong light at the end of the tunnel because they don't know kung kailan mag end the pandemic, kung kailan matutuloy ang collegiate sports. So I think it kind of sparks hope sa kanila na, uy, meron palang patutunguhan yung training ko, matutuloy yung season namin, at least um, yung pagpapakondisyon ko, yung pag-e-effort ko with the team, kumbaga, mare-rewardan po yan dito. And at the same time, para rin po sa collegiate fans, sa sports fans dito sa Pilipinas, also again, um, gives them hope na Again, this is the first collegiate league po na, na magre-resume. And I think everybody here knows that, you know, you're, you're from um, the sports mainly. Um, it is going to be uh, first collegiate league na, mag, na magpapatuloy dito sa Pilipinas. So it sort of gives inspiration uh, siguro dun sa ibang tao na, you know, hindi na umaasa na, uy, baka hindi matuloy yung sports kasi ang daming limitations. Ipapakita po ng NCAA through this platform na, uy, there are ways. There are ways para matuloy po yung ating season, yung ating liga. And I rest assured that, you know, GMA is, is, is exerting so much effort dito po sa NCAA para mas map, mapaganda at mas maging creative po ang mga execution. Thanks, Martin. I believe that Sophia can add something about the collegiate sports fans. Uh, of course, as a collegiate sports fan myself. So, kung hindi nakakalam, I'm, I graduated from somebody university. I consider myself an alumna of the NCAA. I'm a huge fan of the sports, a huge, huge fan of the athletes. And that's It's funny because that's how I know Martin because I saw him in the games and I won him. And I always saw him in the games until the games. And lo and behold, we work na kami. It's crazy how things happen. So yes, like Sir Oli and Martin said, um, 
galing na ako NTAA. So, I know talaga na the athletes, the schools, they deserve talaga a lot more attention than they're given. Lagi natin sinasabi, ongoing statement yun na there's so much potential. There's so much potential. Every time na mention mo yung NTAA kahit saan, there's so much potential. But it's not being tapped into. And that's why, hindi, um, it, this collaboration with the NTAA and GMA has been um, so super deep in my heart na hindi ko alam na andyan pala like na it was part of the things I wanted until it happened kasi nung nangyari siya I felt so much joy na para um, grabe I've been with the NTAA for four years I've been with GMA for four years and ngayon it's like the collaboration of my life talaga nagsama yung dalawang parts of my life yung ACADS ko yung career ko they came together into this you know, miraculous thing talaga na hindi ko akala mangyayari. So, I'm so grateful. And lalo na na kilala ko yung mga athletes, I've been able to speak with them. I've been able to hear their side of the stories again na mag, ma, marinig niya din. And nakikita ko gana din sila sa grateful. Kasi when you, they're student athletes. They've invested in this their entire life. They've worked so, so hard. Tapos biglang wala. So, mm. It's like what happened for all of us here. Um, lahat tayo nahihirapan, lahat tayo nag-aantay ng sign na parang um, may mangyayari na ba sa mundo? Like, is something gonna happen? May mangyayari ba bukas? Nabubulok na po ako dito? Ganon yung mga naisip natin, di ba? Tapos ngayon, ma, ma, ano, matutuloy na. May magagawa na sila kasi like Marha Martin said, they're still continuing their training. They're just waiting for a place to get out there. And parang you're killing two birds with one stone. Not only matutuloy yung NCAA, but you're, we're going to give them the recognition and the attention that these athletes deserve. So parang sobrang, um, this has been a blessing in disguise for not only me na, syempre, I'm so grateful that they trusted me with this project. Not only for me, not only for Martin, but also for the athletes, for mm-hmm. the schools na magbe-benefit dito. So it's definitely um, more than I know how people view it. Hindi lang siya sports show. It's it's a way for us talaga to rise up stronger. I see. Well, I can see that it's very close to your heart. Now, for my final yeah. question, <laughs> this is for the, the two of you. Uh, what was your uh, initial reaction when you learned that you will be the faces of Rise Up Stronger? Let's start with Siguro kay Martin Muna. I was um I was surprised especially kung nung nalaman ko na nung finally na reveal na sa akin kung gaano kalaki siya na, na na project kalaki siya na na platform because yung yung initial talk sa akin I thought na kasi um you know as a sportscaster as a host oy kunin kita mag-host dito pero you never think kung kung gaano siya kalaki you, you know you, you you think of it as you know oh it's a project oh grateful sige maraming salamat so, nalaman ko na po I was like man this is this is this is major and ako super grateful po ako dahil nabibigyan ulit ako ng opportunity uh, magmula sa GMA Synergy sa GTV sa GMA ako po nagpapasalamat talaga ako uh, aside from being so welcoming napaka mm-hmm. Warm talaga po ng welcome sa akin lahat po. Napaka-friendly dito sa Kapuso Network. Aside from that, they are presenting to me, um, like you mentioned, hindi nga nag-register po yan sa akin, sir, yung, yung you know, becoming the face of, of the show. <laughs> Hasn't registered sa akin na, na ganun siya ka, ka, ka big deal. Pero ako, I'm, I'm just grateful kasi I started siguro my sports casting career um, getting... Konti, konti, nagkakaroon ng break sa television. I started it with the NCAA. My very first game was, I think, JRU Mapua. I was in Mo Arena. I was a newbie sportscaster. But the NCAA gave me that that opportunity that led to other doors being opened. And to be able to continue, quote-unquote, or resume my my television career with um, with the league mm-hmm. that, that got me all started here in the industry Sobrang, for me, medyo destiny siya. And at the same right. time, napaka-grateful po ko pa rin po sa, sa GTV and sa, sa GMA. Yun po yung naging reaction ko. Well, we're happy for you, Martin. Ikaw ba, Sophia? Uh, did it feel like you won another beauty contest title when you learned that? Oh, naman. For sure, it definitely felt 
parang ganun talaga yung feeling of a blessing for me na pa hala totoo ba to unang una kasi nagsabay yung news na the NCA would be w- with GMA and then ako yung maging host sabay siya sinabi sa akin so ang dami ko talaga naramdaman sabi ko ano hindi ko na iintindi <laughs> ano ba yung nangyayari sabi ko talaga ba tapos ako yung nakuha ang host bakit kasi um Obviously, I'm the sports fan. So you guys have seen the VTR. Ako talaga yung sports fan. Tagahanga lang talaga ako ng athlete. Nagagandaan ako sa kanila. Nagwagwapuhan na amaze. Ang wow, ang bilis nila. Wow, ang tangkad nila. Wow, ang popogi nila. Wow, Messi. So ganyan talaga yung line of thought ko habang nanonood ng game. Park. Ay, wow, nakashoot. Palakpak. Ay, wow, hindi. Okay, palakpak. Ganyan lang yung, yung way, line of thought ko when I'm watching Parang a game. Parang you came a different They're... kind of point of view kasi. Oo, super different talaga. Tapos, um, pero kahit ganyan yung point of view ko, I'm still so invested talaga in the game. Iyakan, tas, uh, nat- natutuwa. So, kinabahan ako kasi sabi ko, yan lang ma-offer ko talaga. <laughs> yan, lang, <laughs> yan lang talaga. Yan lang masasabi ko. Wow, ang ganda niya. <laughs> Parang that's, That's my ambag in the discussion. Tapos, ayun na nga, nalaman ko, makaka-work ko si Marte. So, natuwa talaga ako ng sobra. Kasi I've, I've known Martin for a while now kasi nakita ko siya sa games na when I was watching the games as a student pa lang ng San Bela. Tapos nakita ko si Martin, natuwa ako sa kanya. Wow. Na, kasi commentator siya. Siya yung parang nagsasabi na parang, woo, from the parking lot. Ganun. So, nagigets ko, wow, big deal. Okay, pala ka. So, parang nagigets ko yung nangyayari sa game habang naririnig ko si Martin. Na nalaman ko na mag-work tuloy kami. Sabi ko, okay, perfect. Kasi I trust Martin as a as a sports geek. Siya talaga yung sports geek. He loves, he lives and breathes a sport. Right. He does it every, parang everything. Parang when he's on his phone, hindi ako chismosa ha. Pero pag when he's on his phone, like ito, <laughs> basketball, fantasy, hindi ako chismosa, nakikita ko lang minsan. Parang 100% basketball. Tapos ako naman talaga, I really, tagahanga ako sa mga tao na ganyan, na sobrang invested. Kasi, it's not like, hindi ko siya alam paano i-explain. Like, we see it parang sports. Parang may sarili siyang category, but it's not really. It's it's a career. It's working. It's a hobby. It's so much more than just, you know, a sport category. Like, hindi ko talaga na intindihan bakit may sarili siyang category kasi these people work their their whole lives so hard. They have these amazing stories na nakakaiyak talaga, nakakatuwa. And we're only just focusing on the fact that they make a shot or they lose a shot. And we don't know that kada shot nila yun, may story, may pinagdaanan. Kada point na nakuha nila sa team, may hindi lang sila yung nananalo. Yung pamilya nila, yung mga anak nila, something like that. So it's amazing how there's so many little details in this thing that we sum up to call sports lang. And sobrang natuwa talaga ako nung nakuha ako. Sabi ko, wow! Kasi actually, eto na nga. Chumi, chumi ka lang talaga ako dito. Kasi uh, it's a really long story kasi eto na nga, I went to San Beda University and I tried out to be a courtside reporter. I tried out two to three times, I think. And hin- ayun na nga, hindi ako nakuha. I was never approved to become the courtside reporter. And it definitely broke my heart because I was always at the game. Number one fan talaga. I love the athletes. Hindi ako nakuha. Tapos, lo and behold, two to three years later, hindi ako nakuha maging NCAA courtside reporter. Sophia, ikaw na yung magiging host ng NCAA. Oh, di ba? Amazing. Parang grabe. Ano na? Ano, Paano yun nangyari? It's a dream come, come true for you. <laughs> so bright. It was really like what Martin said, destiny talaga. Tapos siya pa talaga yung mga co-work ko. Siya lang yung parang <laughs> napansin ko na commentator. Like, as a viewer of the games, as a fan lang, siya lang yung parang na-follow ko sa lahat ng social media. Kilala ko na ba siya by first name? So parang, di ko talaga naintindihan paano siya nangyari. Pero it all felt like it was just part of an elaborate play of God na ito din yung dapat nangyayari. So, ito yung nangyari. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I can see that you and Martin complement each other. So, congratulations first. Only congratulations to GMA. Salamat! Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thanks, Nikki. All right.